Hello world, welcome to Life Rocks. I wish to speak today on overcoming shame. You think about it, let's talk about it. There's a common phrase in Zimbabwe it says, it's a shame man, it's a shame man. It's usually a, a, a statement which can easily be understood as picturesque. They're saying it's a shame that something did not happen or something happened that should not have happened. It's a fun way of uh, talking. It's a shame, man. Someone was once asked for the difference between shame and pity, and uh, he replied, if a busload of lawyers went over a cliff and there were no survivors, that would be pity. And if there were no empty seats, that would be a shame, man. Uh, you also had parents and others who love you say, you should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of yourself because of something you neglected that you did not get done, which you should have done, or something you did, which you should not have done. Uh, that's uh, what parents and teachers and others tell us. You should be ashamed of yourself. Now, shame and guilt are a combination, and they are complex. They go together. You can have guilt without shame, but you cannot have shame without guilt. Guilt usually has to do with what you feel before God and before yourself. Shame is what you feel before God and before others. And in cultures where shame is of high value, with honor displacing shame, uh, we need to address the problem of shame and guilt. Shame has to do with unacceptability. For some reason, you're not acceptable to someone else or unacceptable to God. So people try to address the problem of acceptance. They go through many performances, usually by following commandments and prescriptions and keeping away from prohibitions. The problem with pursuing acceptance by performance is that performance is a quantitative strategy. How many times you went to church, temple, or mosque, how much money you gave to the poor to take care of them. But acceptance is a qualitative relationship. You cannot get acceptance from performance. Performance will help you feel better about yourself, but will not necessarily get you accepted by someone else, especially God. So God now has to devise a way to get you accepted without your performance. And that's exactly what he did. He knew that all your performance would fall short of his expectations. Uh, if you did a hundred good things or a thousand good things, you could have always said, you need to do one more good thing. Instead, he initiates the acceptance and says, I will cover your shame and I will cover your guilt. So he sends his one and only son, the Lord Jesus, to take care of your guilt and shame. He was condemned instead of us so that you will never have to be shameful before him again. In fact, what he senses in his heart about you, he offers it with his hand toward you. He accepts you as a beloved one and accepts you in the beloved one, the Lord Jesus. So for you to have acceptance before God, to use another phrase, is simply to accept his love for you. To trust him and believe in the fact that he has covered you and you never have to feel guilt and shame before him forever. Don't find acceptance by performance to overcome shame. You just accept the fact that he loved you so much. And since he has accepted you, you can now be free 
from performance as the means of a vital relationship with him. Are you forgiven? Would you like to be? Contact us right away and we will respond. You can overcome shame in your life. You think about it. Let's talk about it.